Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data, because data is data. Hai. So we are going to continue our series on PL300. Last time we had PL300 certification sample question on prepare for data analysis. And today we'll go one step further while you talk about model data in Power BI. The purpose of this series is not only to get to the sample questions over there, but also to give you the refined answer whether we will make use of our Power BI desktop or at the same time, we can make use of Power BI service service as well so that you get full hands-on experience and the clear explanation of each and every question. So what you are waiting for? Let's move to the first question itself. Now the question is, you have a data model that contains many complex text expression. The expression contains frequent references to the related and related table functions. You need to recommend a solution to minimize the use of related and related table functions. Now what should you recommend, right? So they are saying that there are many DEX expression that is based on related and related table function over there. So basically when one table is related to, to the another table, we do make use of related function there. As you can see the Microsoft uh, document over there, it returns a related value from another table, which should be a related table, right? So definitely it will go to the another table. It's like a VLOOKUP you can say, and it will just scan and it will try to retrieve that value for you. So how can we avoid this, right? Because you need to write a function. And remember, this can only be used in the calculated column only. It needs, it needs row context, but then we need to avoid this. Well, if you want to avoid this uh, querying from one or, you know, traveling from one table to another and getting the value for your column, why don't you make it one table? Do we have such option over there? Let us see and find it out. So the options are split the models into multiple models, height and used columns in the model. So you are, if you split into multiple models, that is not going to help you. It is going to increase the complexity only, right? Height and used columns in the model. Now there is no relationship of this with the solution that we want. How it can help you? No, it is not going to help you. Merge tables by using Power Query. Now merge is, in other words, join. So if you can join these two tables any two tables which you are making uh, in which you are making relation you, if you make these two tables also any two tables as one then you don't have to make uh, use of related function now transpose is like making rows into column and columns to rows that is not going to help you either so if you reveal the solution it looks like that this is the best answer for this one and here you go combining data source common data means connecting to two or more data sources shaping them as needed then and then making them into one useful query, right? When you have one or more columns that you would like to add to another query, you merge the queries. So the answers for this one would be the option C. The second question that we are going to discuss over here is that you have a large data set that contains more than 1 million rows. The table has a date, time, column name, name, date. Now you need to reduce the size of the data model without losing access to any data. That means you have date, time, right? You have date and you have time as well, right? And now you need to retain all of the data, you know, without disturbing the data set that you have, how can you reduce the size of the data model? So the options are around the R of the date column to the start of R, change the data type of the date column to text, how it is going to have, no. Trim the date column, not going to help. Split the date column into two columns that, one that contains only the time, another that, you know, that, that makes sense. Means you will split your date time into date and time Remember that you have calendar table as well, right? Don't worry, I'll show you. So look, this is your say, the main factor. Suppose this is your main factor and you have the calendar table and you have order date in at as date time. Remember the date in calendar table is at day level over there. So it's important for you to make date in either of the two table at the same level. If this is at day level, so that should be at day level as well. So we split that so that we get uh, day level date in both the tables so that we can relate putting date under uh, a date column and time under time column will also help you to have better compression well the question is not about compression but th that is still one of the other advantages that you can have so definitely time will be repeated under date column as far as date time is concerned so we don't need to put the time into the date table because time is repeated every day right so we'll split our date time column into separate date and time columns in fact table so that you can join date to date tables and time to the timetable. 
So you know, right, the, wherever there is a repetition and we can create a new table so that we can avoid that sort of repetition and reduce the size of our data model. And that's what we are doing over here as well. So the answer for this would be the D1 that is the correct one. Let's go to the next one, right? You have a Microsoft Power BI report. The size of the report is, okay, pick. The report is accessed by using app workspace. Remember app workspace in shared capacity of powerbi.com. App works are a place to collaborate in Power BI and also create new Power BI apps. FYI, the report uses an imported data set that contains one fact table. The fact tables contains there are a lot of rows, right? Big data. The data set is scheduled to refresh twice a day at 8 and 17. The report is a single page, page that contains 15 app source visuals and 10 default visuals, right? Users say that the report is slow to load the visuals when they access the and interact with the report. You need to recommend a solution to improve the performance of the report. What should you recommend? So we can see that it's a quite a big fact table over there. Now let us see the options that we have. Increase the number of times that the data set is refreshed. How that is going to help you? Split the visuals in onto multiple pages. Change the imported, uh, imported data set to direct query or implement row level security. Increasing the frequency is not going to help you, right? They, they are talking about increasing the time, times that data set is refreshed. So that is not going to, that, that will just increase, that can increase the problem, not decrease that too with a big data set. Split visuals onto the multiple pages. Splitting the visual onto multiple pages is no use. You're talking about the fact table that, that is, that is contain, containing 12 million rows no relationship with the optimization of your data model over there. If you implement role level security means if you are from region, you have a manager of region central. So you see only central data set, but you see that only after you have imported the whole data set, right? You just limit the data as per the user, but you are not limiting anything at the data model. The only viable answer over here is to change the imported data set to direct query because of the fact table, the size of the fact table that you can see out of these options that looks the most feasible one over here because it will have its own uh, advantage. Underlying data refresh uh, can require a refresh of data for some report the need to display current data can require the last data transfer, right? So maybe uh, they are saying that underlying data changes if you need more frequency because direct query is like a life connection only in other words. So if you are need tend to change the frequency of your big data in the future so that can somehow place you in a very difficult position so if you are having big data already and it is going to increase in the future only maybe you think about the direct query because of the another limitation of one gb data set that does not apply to direct query means if you are going with import then you cannot uh, exceed more than one gb until and unless you change the license mode you go to the premium one Pro one will not be able to cope up with that. So that's the answer for you. So next question is, uh, these are like drag and drop options that you'll get, okay, drag and drop. So you are modeling a data in, in a table called named sales details. So this is a detailed table by Microsoft, Microsoft Power BI. You need to provide end users with access to summary statistics about the sales data. So it's like a summary table, right? So if you have a order table with uh, all the different uh, columns like region, address, customer ID, customer name, but you have profit and sales as well. So you are summarizing that with respect to say region. So it means the end table would be much smaller because it will be summarized. Now the user requ requires insight on the completeness of the data. So data profile is coming into the act over here which three actions should be performed in sequence to answer move the appropriate action from the list of the action to answer area array. So we have to arrange that in the proper fashion. So, so first of all, we need to create the data source and I think uh, we need to create a blank query because we are trying to give access to a summary table, a new table. For this very particular example, I think parameter creation of parameters is not needed as such over there. But yes, uh, as far as profiling is concerned, once you have created that uh, Okay, let me show you what is this blank query by the way. If you go to the editor mode of your uh, Power BI under new source, you can see there is something called blank query where you can write your query from the scratch to create tables. If you wish to drill down more, I will paste this very particular link at my description. Please go and see. So step, the so first one is this one is good. Second one is uh, profiling. We need to profile. We, 
are not interested in getting this distinct number of sales detail over there because we are talking about the completeness of data which will which we can get via profiling well table profiling is a great way to see the accuracy uh, the number of distinct values the value distribution are you having errors over there or not with the help of column quality so that's what the column profiling is all about and once you're done with profiling you can create your new table or say create visual on the report page using the fields from the new table so once you have created your new table just go ahead and create your visual over there so create blank query as a data source specify the following query then close and apply it means you are doing um, the profiling of your table and then create visual on the report page using fields from the new table so come on the next the next question is you are modeling data by using microsoft power bi Part of the data mod model is large Microsoft SQL Server. Large, okay. Order has more than 100 million records. During the development process, you need to import sample of data from your order table. From Power Query Editor, you import the table and then add a filter step to the query. Does this meet the goal? Well, for development, you need you don't need 100 million records, and you have already imported that, so that is not going to help you. Maybe you would have filtered it earlier itself. The filter is applied after the data is imported. Instead, add a where clause to the SQL statement. Okay, the answer would be B for this one. Although this is a wrong one that you see over there, maybe so you have to care of take care of some of the answers that you can see. I mean, it seems to be B only for me as well, right? You are modeling data by using Microsoft Power BI. Part of the same question is same thing. Same question, but you will get su such questions in your the scenario questions of the same scenario and different uh, use cases, right? Me, or maybe the same scenario, different problem statement. So in this case, you add a where clause to the SQL statement. So maybe this time we are good. Same question, right? So what you will do? You will try to filter it earlier itself, right? Uh, rather than doing at the report level. So if you go to reveal your solution, this is right, 100%. I think we are done for the day. That will be a part of another topic over there. So I hope these questions were useful for you and it will help you to prepare better for your PL300 examination. So this is Shritesh signing off from Dancing with Data Power BI because data is the data that you have to do. Bye bye.